Geoengineering, solution or time bomb? And what is it anyway? Well, some scientists believe with global emissions still on the rise, we can engineer our way out of the climate crisis. If this sounds extreme to you, you're not alone. Some of the ideas going are really out there. I mean, really out there in space. You see, scientists are considering sending a giant mirror or fleet of mirrors into orbit to reflect sunlight back into space. And they hope that'll do the trick and cool the Earth. It's radical, pricey, and technically tricky. Another idea is to spray salt water into clouds above the sea, making them thicker and brighter to reflect the sun. This could be used to cool specific areas like coral reefs or hurricane-prone zones. But perhaps a geoengineering idea with the most traction is to dim the sun, turn the switch down. They do that by mimicking the way major volcanic eruptions block sunlight and cool the climate. The geoengineering solution, aircraft would spray hundreds of thousands of tons of fine, harmless aerosols into the Earth's stratosphere to block sunlight and weaken the strength of the sun's rays. But there are lots of worries with this one because it wouldn't stop carbon dioxide from building up in the atmosphere and it could also take the onus off nations to reduce emissions in the first place. Dimming the sun could also have unintended consequences on ecosystems or even widespread crop failures. And then there's the security threat that rogue governments could use this method to destabilize other countries. But research into all of these concepts is ongoing. And what that says to me is just how worried scientists are about the climate and where we might be heading and how important it is to do the one thing in our power today, slash emissions as fast as possible and stop global warming in the first place.